Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can create a humane and cruelty-free phlebotomy or venipuncture simulation model. This model can be used by students in both human and veterinary medical fields. The syringe technique shown in this video is commonly used for jugular and cephalic blood collection in animals. Simulators provide opportunities for students to develop their skills before using them on live animals or people. Simulator models can be a good tool to replace the use of animals in teaching. This can eliminate the risk of animal harm, unnecessary pain and suffering, and studies have shown that humane models can actually reduce student stress while mimicking real clinical conditions. The model I will be showing you today can be used many times and the parts can be replaced if needed. To make fake blood, you will need a tablespoon for measuring, vegan red food coloring, this is a cruelty-free model and the dye does not contain carmine or crushed red insects, Vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is derived from plant-based sources and does not contain animal ingredients. Water for thinning the glycerin. A container to mix and store the fake blood. Some of the other supplies you will need are self-adhesive foam sheets. They can be any color you like and the size of these sheets depend on how large you want your model to be. Mine are 8.7 by 5.9 inches. Tattoo practice fake skin made out of silicone. This material is similar to human skin but can be covered with faux fur for an animal model. Pool foam noodle. Natural rubber tubing. I've tested many different tube material and this is the best I have found so far. Painter's masking tape. Small kitchen back clips. These ones are from Ikea. Micropore surgical paper tape. All purpose adhesive. Cotton balls, syringe and needles. Any size and any needle gauge is okay. Disposable gloves, rubbing alcohol or water can be used for practice. Soft band padding and vet wrap are optional if you want to use your model to practice bandaging. Paper towels and cardboard sheets knife, scissors, and a spoon. Small piece of faux fur fabric. This is optional for veterinary students to simulate a furry patient. Last but not least, a ruler. To make the blood, mix four tablespoons of vegetable glycerin and one tablespoon of water together. Add 10 drops of red food coloring and mix well. The consistency is not exactly like blood, but it should be similar. Add more glycerin or water to achieve the desired consistency. Be mindful of spillage as the dye may stain surfaces or clothing. I recommend wearing gloves when practicing as fake blood can be sticky and it's good practice to wear gloves regardless. To make the base, cut the foam noodle to the desired size. I cut mine to the same length as a tattoo fake skin to ensure good coverage. The length of the simulator model shown in this video is 15 centimeters. To make the vein, cut the rubber tubing 20 centimeters longer than the length of your pool foam noodle. Cover the pool noodle with a self-adhesive foam sheet. This is an optional step, but I have found that tubing and the fake skin adhere much better to the soft foam sheet surface compared to the surface of the pool noodle. To stabilize the vein, tape the two ends of the tubing using two pieces of paper tape. Make sure to leave 10 centimeters of extra tubing on either sides of the base. Now glue the rest of the tubing with all-purpose adhesive and hold the tubing in place until it has dried. Glue the tubing once more to ensure it's secure. Regardless of the amount of glue used, the tubing will remain slightly mobile. This is not a bad thing as it actually mimics real veins. Once the glue has dried, attach the fake skin by paper tape on both ends and the middle of the base. I have experimented with using glue and double-sided tape to attach the skin, but they don't work as well as paper tape. You can use your model as is right now. In this form, it can simulate holding an arm or a limb. This is a good model to practice horizontal blood collection from the cephalic vein. 
Alternatively, you can also secure the model to a cardboard sheet with painter's masking tape for better control when you first start practicing. By attaching the model to a stable flat surface, you can rest the model vertically and practice drawing blood in the upward position. This would simulate the jugular blood collection technique. To start using the model, draw fake blood into an empty syringe without a needle. Set your fill syringe aside and place a small bowl underneath one end of the vein. Now attach the tubing to the syringe and create a flow of fake blood in the vein. Don't allow the blood to drip out of the vein, just far enough so you have enough blood in the vein for a practice round. Close the end of the vein resting in the bowl with two kitchen clips. Now refill your syringe again with blood and reattach to the open end of the vein. Before you start practicing blood collection, practice your desired syringe method. In this video, I use the one-handed syringe technique. The aim of this technique is to aspirate the fluid without moving the syringe. If the syringe moves while inside the vein of a real animal, there's a chance that the needle will poke through the other side of the vein and can cause a hematoma. Use your ring finger to pull back and aspirate while securely holding the syringe in place with your index finger and your thumb. Here I am showing you the bevel of the needle. You want to insert the needle into the vein bevel side up. The great thing about using a simulation model is that you can practice over and over until you feel confident about the procedure without harming an animal or a person. To practice on a furry arm, you can attach or drape a piece of faux fur fabric over the venipuncture model. Wetting the fur with alcohol, or in this case some water, can help you feel and see the vein easier. Alternatively, you can clip a patch of faux fur fabric to better visualize the vein. To clean your simulation model for storage purposes, remove the clips from the vein resting inside the bowl. Draw back the remaining blood into the syringe on the other end and flush the vein with water until only clear liquid drains out. Draw back the remaining water inside the vein, dry the tubing and place one clip on each end of the vein. Now you have your own handmade affordable phlebotomy simulation model which you can use to better your clinical skills. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you make your own simulation model, post a picture of it on your Instagram and don't forget to tag me so I can see your creations. Together, let's take a step towards humane methods in veterinary training and reduce the use of animals in teaching. Let's work towards a more compassionate and kinder world. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.